So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league, the great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career. But that will to win, he's had that probably. Brady. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. A big play there on the first play of the game. 42 yards. Well, there's a pretty big start right there. They go bombs away on the first play from scrimmage. Put a smile on your face, didn't it? Not because you're rooting for anyone, but that's the way to begin a game, to put someone back on their knee now, first and 10. Play action, now it's Brady. That's going to be caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A really good pickup of 12. Two different parts of the field as well. Now Brady. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. From a yard out. And the Bucs take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. The three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses of football at their own 20-yard line. They go play action here on first down. He's going to look deep for Perriman. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Rashad Perriman, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Bucs get the quick strike touchdown. One play. 80 yards, pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. You're doing everything possible to get him on the ground, and sometimes you end up grabbing the face mask. This will be caught inside the 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Give him, change things around. But offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football. Until Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. It's a six-yard touchdown pass as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term. They just boat race someone somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball, who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. It'll go as an impact. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. Brady's throw there complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's a gain of 16. Magic number for a really good game for a receiver. So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back. But that's one step. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Five touchdown passes now for Tom Brady as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, then... An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the... On first and 10, here's Brady. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. This game has the feel of what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, the Davises and the Gardens get together. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. In for the score.
as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. He's been a frequent target, and with catches like that, one-handed in the end zone, I'd keep going his way. And he's doing it every which way, isn't he? Two hands, and in this case, we just saw it with one hand. Almost reminds me of a great return of service guy in tennis. No matter how you whack it at him, it comes back at On third and long, it's Brady. Looking for Perriman there, he's got him. Well, Defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to go. That's caught at the 25. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup. Speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Jordan Leggett there to make the grab as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. <laughs> Throwing on third and long. Brady. He's going to. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. The 20. 10. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A big play there. 87 yards as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. And someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what... Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Looking downfield for Godwin. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Falcons going to use their goal in a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. To throw is Brady, and this is caught, and that could seal it. It's a touchdown. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Atlanta.